Tip number seven: Speed optimization. A typical BET analysis that collects eleven points can last about two to three hours. However, if the throughput is more important than accuracy, then the speed can be significantly improved by adjusting some analysis conditions. The minimum number of points to calculate multi-point BET surface area is three points. The evacuation rate can be increased, which is set at five torr per second for most of the micrometrics instruments. However, increasing the rate must be done with caution, depending on how fluffy the sample is, so it is not pulled up in the manifold. The absolute and relative pressure tolerances can be increased. Typically, five torr absolute pressure tolerance and five percent relative pressure tolerance are used for nitrogen isotherm. These can be increased to ten torr and ten percent, respectively. By doing this, the instrument will be able to reach close to the target pressure with fewer doses but with less precision. Another way to optimize speed is by entering or calculating free space. Measuring the free space is the most accurate. But it is possible to obtain reasonable data without it. Entering the known value of free space requires a separate free space run, and calculating it requires the skeletal density of the material and a calibrated sample tube. This will be covered more in detail in tip number eight. Adjusting the equilibration interval can also optimize the speed of the analysis. However, if the sample naturally takes long to equilibrate, Then it can significantly compromise the data. Lastly, as it was mentioned in tip number two, the quantity of the sample can also be adjusted to optimize the speed. Now let's look at some examples. Here's the first example with a typical BT run with the analysis conditions optimized for accuracy for a carbon black sample. The pressure tolerances were set as default for a nitrogen isotherm, with measuring the free space and saturation pressure, and setting the equilibration interval at 10 seconds. The analysis took one hour and 47 minutes under these conditions. Here is an example run optimized for speed with the same sample. Five points were collected, and the pressure tolerances were increased. The free space was entered from the previous run since they were the same sample too, and the saturation pressure was entered. The equilibration interval was shortened to five seconds. Under these conditions, the analysis time was shortened to 27 minutes. The BT surface area was 21.1 with speed optimization and 21.2 with a normal run. So there wasn't much compromise on the quality of the data on this particular carbon black sample.